the early morning heavy downpour of 31st July 2022 that lasted five to six hours across the eastern region of the country, destroyed places and property and swept away 14 bridges. The floods affected a total of 18,102 people and disrupted network infrastructure, water supplies and road network systems across the region. Speaking at the sending off ceremony of nine food items to support Mbale floods victims, State Minister for Northern Uganda, Honorable Grace Freedom, said the long-term solution is to relocate everyone living on the slopes of Mount Edigon and along the river banks to a safer geographical landscape. The long-term solution is to have everyone living on the slopes of Mount Edigon and along the river banks relocated to a safer geographical area and landscape. Mbale and nearby districts are particularly vulnerable to flooding death because many residents have built homes by riverbanks and in the right foot hills of Mount Elbow. Although hundreds have responded to the call of government to be relocated over the years, some continue to resist, saying they are not comfortable to leave their ancestral lands. The humanitarian assistance includes 1,000 kits for 1,000 households, each consisting of blankets, spades, tarpaulins, and clothes for boys, women, and girls. Speaking at the same event, Maksud Hussein, an assistant representative of the UN Refugee Agency to Uganda, applauded Uganda's open-door accommodative refugee policy, which is the best in the world. He called upon emergency technical teams to ensure that the items reach the intended beneficiaries. I call upon the technical teams from both UNICEF and UBM to coordinate the timely distribution of this life-saving assistance to affected population. I would like to conclude by thanking you once again, Honorable Minister, and everyone else here present for being here this morning to witness this occasion. Meanwhile, the head of national emergency in the Department of Disaster Preparedness has revealed that he is going to lead a team to Kasese to assess the area and mark areas where potential floods are likely to occur following Wednesday morning landslides. So when we reach the ground, we shall see potential areas of causing landslides and the make report so that the government can look at those. However, uh, still those ones who are, survive, who are surviving right now may also need both food and non-food items relief items so those are the that's the reason why the team is also going to support the district authorities the government through the office of the prime minister has coordinated preliminary assessments with various partners to establish the magnitude of the problem and devise emergency interventions